talk about relationships I mean there people need help I mean there's a, lot, there's a lot of people out there need help guys and girls and this video is here I'm gonna you know try to help you know girls out and guys out but um, if you're young don't listen to this right now I mean I'm telling you right now I'm because in my rants I'm gonna go in I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking curse like I just did right there because you know that's what I do but let's get to it like for, this is for everybody like there are a billion people out there. A billion people are out there. So you might say, I'm not gonna get in a relationship. I'm not gonna get in a relationship. There's a billion people out there. You, your ass just might get in a fucking relationship. So what you have to do is take that and understand that there's gonna be good and there's gonna be bad. Like, you have to weed out the good and the bad. Okay, I wanna talk about relationships that are not working out. It's just, it, okay. If you if you made it through two, three, four, five years and everything is smooth, and then you hit a bump in the road, that's okay. Like it's it's, it's probably it's one thing that fucked it up. Like there's a chance you can fucking fix it. Like you can fucking fix that. It's not over. You know, but if you if you made it like fucking two, three weeks or even two, three months? I mean, you got a fucking problem. And I'm just saying like, if they made it, if you if you made it two, three weeks, two, three months, that person just may not be for you. It's just, I'm not saying that like, give up on relationships. I'm not saying give up on relationships. And I'm not talking about like, these stupid arguments, like, okay, like, that person that you were for two, three weeks, two, three months, I'm not talking about a stupid argument like, oh, baby, I want to see the new Underworld. No, I want to see the new Transformers. I want to see the new Underworld. Well, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You ain't shit. I don't understand that it's billions of people in the world and I can have anybody I want. So fuck you, bitch. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, if you argue every single day and you're with that person for like like the couple of weeks couple of months that person may not be for you understand that because that's just not healthy i mean you don't you're not supposed to argue with someone every day that's where people that's been in relationship for years you know that shit you gotta fix you just you just gotta fix it ladies here's another one guys love video games I mean, I have shit ton of video games, and I'm not talking about like, oh, it's wrong for him to love video games. No, it's, it's totally fine for him to love video games. He always playing video games. He always doing this with the video game. Never pay attention to me. Understand this, ladies. You gotta allow your man to give him that certain amount of time to play those video games. To, to. Uh, you know, cause he if you if you bear him down when he's trying to play his video games, he's gonna bounce back. He's just gonna bounce back and be like, I'm gonna play my video game. I wanna play my head off. Fuck you. No. And like if you allow the guy to have a certain amount of time to play the video games, you know, you set some rules for him to be like, okay, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, you can play your video games all you want. You know, but Tuesday, Thursdays and the weekends, you can you, you're fucking me. We're doing stuff, we're having fun, and you're, you're, we're having sex. In his mind, he's just like, fuck, I got the best of both worlds right now. I can play my video games, I can have my girl, and I can have some fucking sex. Come on. Ladies, you gotta be smart about this. All right, another thing. Fellas, fellas, you gotta dress the part, man. Okay, I'm like, I see it every day. Like these dudes still wearing these 90s long t-shirts shit. It just doesn't work, bro. Like, dress the fucking part. Like, come on. Now, I'm not saying dudes go out there and buy, like, you know, fucking, I don't know, 
true religion and, and all that this type of shit and wear tight super skinny clothes no but wear something to show the girls like what you got you know like show the girls what you got like you got muscles show them like why are you trying to hide it with this big ass shirt you know it ain't cool no more bro this is 2017 like you, you see a girl walking down the street, you don't see her wearing big ass busted clothes, you see her wearing some tight jeans and you're like, damn, shorty's looking right. Wear something to get her to notice you. That's all I'm saying. A lady, ladies like a man that they can show off, you know, that looks good, you know, that, that wears nice things, and, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be nice things, you just have to, you know, it has to work for him, it has to work, work for him, but he, he, he dresses nice and she loves it. You have to let him, you, you have to dress the part to where your girl wants to show you off. And ladies, that's just for you too. I mean, y'all get in relationships and all of a sudden y'all just, you know, sex and just go out the window. Like, what the fuck? Like, you start wearing these nice ass clothes. He's seen you in those nice ass clothes. That would, that's what attracted him to you. You know, you, you're showing your, your, your right figure and your right clothes and, and all of a sudden now it's like wearing joggers to sleep. I mean, wearing granny panties. What the, who, the, who, who wants to see that, ladies? Your man wants to show you off just like you want to show him off. You know? But you think? Do you think your girl wants to bring you around her other girls? Because her girls are going to judge her for bringing a busted ass guy around. No, no girl wants to bring a busted ass dude around. Like if you. In, in girls, you guys judge hard as shit. I mean, they will they will light your ass up. I mean, girls are ruthless, man. Like they will judge the shit out of you. But like once once her girls, fellas, once her girls start talking about you behind your back and stuff, and, and talking to her about you, it just is not gonna last that long. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna last that long. She she they're gonna be like, oh look, she bringing he bringing this busted ass nigga around. Here we go again with this busted ass nigga. Another thing, fellas, dude, come on there. Like, you can't take your girl out. Like, you can't always, you know, you, you gotta, even if it's more like taking her to the park, taking her, you know, playing around, like going outside. If you guys have a dog, take her for a walk, you know? Like, hell, go to the movies, go, go, go to dinner, go to, go to somewhere that, go to a little bar, go some, go somewhere, you don't always gotta spend money, but dudes, don't always call your girl and say, yo, baby, you wanna come over, you know, let's, you know, let's, let's do that thing these kids do, you know, Netflix and, Netflix and chill, you know what I'm saying, because later on down the line, she's gonna get tired of your ass, man, like, what the fuck? Like, dude, like, no chick wants to always come over your house and just chill. I mean, if she'd be like, oh, babe, let's just stay in. Let's just stay in. No. Tell her, like, no, nah, babe, we're going to go out. Because like, you're going to get tired of staying in, staying in all the time. She might not know it now. She might not say it now. But she's going to say it later. You never take me nowhere. You never do this with me. You never do that. And you're going to sit there, like, with a dumb face. Like, bitch, I'm just trying to, I tried to take you out. You said no, let's stay in. Now your ass wouldn't do it. You ain't shit. And she gonna fucking leave. And you gonna be like, damn. And then you gonna look dumb as fuck. And fellas, like, you sitting there with that dumb face, but if you sit there, if she, if she be like, I wanna do stuff. Dude, if you can't afford to do stuff, there's stuff out there that you can do and take her to that you don't have to pay for shit. You know, and then if you can't fucking afford to take her anywhere, because girls like to travel. They like to do it. They do like to do. Some of them like to do expensive stuff. Some of them like to do nothing. But some of them like to do stuff that costs money. If you can't fucking afford to take a girl out, maybe you should be in a relationship. Just saying. You know, you should be thinking about getting a job rather than thinking about getting a relationship. And if you're saying, "Our legend, I can't afford to get a job," well, you're probably too young to be watching this video. Peace. Here's a big issue. People say that money can't buy happiness. Bullshit. Bullshit. Because in our society today, you need money to do shit. It's like, even if you want to, you know, 
take her out to dinner. Or, or ladies, if you want to take him out to dinner or to lunch or something like that. If you want to buy gifts for her. If, ladies, if you want to buy him a gift. If, if you want to build each other a fucking paper airplane, you have to buy the paper to, call, to, to, to make the fucking airplane. Everything costs money these days. You can't say money doesn't buy happiness or money doesn't buy, because it actually does. It's okay to get your finances in order and right before you get into a serious relationship. And here's another thing, dudes, fellas, fellas, you got a girl and, and if she know how to cook, she know how to throw down in the kitchen, she, you, come, you come at home every day and she got food on the table, you eating, then you all of a sudden, you got that beer belly. Don't blame her. Don't blame because you didn't have to eat it. You know, don't blame her. You Don't, don't you, Hey, bro, like, man, fuck this bitch, man. Like, she, she over here got me all fat and stuff. No, no, dude, no. Hang up that fucking phone, because it's your fucking fault. Keep your shit tight. Keep your shit in order. Don't blame her or don't blame him for cooking you meals that you should know in damn well in your head that you shouldn't have been fucking eating. So don't blame her for that. Because, fellas, you guys like your girls to be looking all oh, sexy, hourglass figure. But when you over there sitting up there looking like a fucking well, and, and you blaming her for, your, her for her fucking cooking. No, 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 nigga. Another big issue. Ladies, understand this. This is, this is for the ladies. I call it the mind reader. We can't read your minds, girls. We can't read your minds, okay? You guys sit up and talk about, oh, Tony ain't seeing me do my hair. I did my hair all nice and pretty, and Tony ain't see it. I walked past his face like four times. He just looking at fucking Pokemon. He over here doing that Pokemon Go shit. He ain't paying attention to me. You know, I call him and do this, and, and, and he ain't, he look at me and say, what's up, babe? You know, and then do shit. Ladies, ladies, it, you know, maybe Tony didn't see it. You know, it's just, it's, he's not trying to be evil. He's not trying to be conniving. He's not trying to be, you know, uh, or ignore you or anything. He just didn't fucking see what you did. He, he, it's okay to repeat yourself or to to ask him. You know, don't 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 assume that he 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 knows what happened. He has like, if you don't notice, guys think a lot. They might not say it, but they think a lot. He has ten other fucking things on his mind at that point, even though he's doing something that's trying to keep him distracted from what you're, you know, from what's going on. He just didn't see it. All I'm saying, ladies, you have to let it go. Just let it go. Because guys are dumb. Like, I'm, I'm a guy. I'm gonna say it right now. And, and dudes, I mean, bro, you can get mad at this all you want. We're fucking dumb. Yeah, that's why people say girls are smart enough, because we're just, we're just dumb. Like, we are. You know, have you ever noticed like a dumb, like, like, have you ever noticed the answers guys give when girls ask them something that, that they can't answer? Uh, um, um, I thought I was alright. You know, I thought I was okay. I thought I was okay. You know, I'm bad. I'm sorry. And we're dumb. L you ladies, just let it go. Like, we're not trying to ignore you. It's just we don't fucking know. Just slow down and explain to us. You know, some of us are hard hit. Some of us don't listen. Just slow down and explain it. It's like, ladies, like you guys are always like getting mad over the little, little things. Like, oh, he didn't see when my hair was over this side, but he, he didn't see it with this side either. Ladies, he didn't, he, you know, maybe he didn't notice that you flipped your hair this way one day and stuff. He just wasn't paying attention. He, sorry, he, he just wasn't paying attention. You have to let that go. Like, he didn't notice when I changed my nails to from pink to aqua. He didn't, ladies, guys aren't gonna notice that kind of stuff. You know, he, he's not gonna notice, oh, I changed, you changed your blouse from a, 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 a V-neck cut to a, to a fucking a collar. He's not gonna notice that. It's just a fucking shirt to him, you know? But if he know, if he misses your fucking birthday, your anniversary, then that's a fucking problem. Ladies, it's just like guys, like, you guys not gonna notice if we, if we, you know, change something. Like for me, for example, I love fucking technology. I just do. Like, uh, you're not gonna see, oh, you didn't know I had the S8, oh, S7 before? Oh, now you notice I have the S8? Ladies, 
it's different things, you know, you're not gonna notice little small things about guys. You just not. Cause if y'all don't, y'all ladies, if you guys keep drilling a man about you, you not noticing shit, cause he going then he gonna start staring at you all every day, and you're gonna get weirded out about this shit. You go, he go back, baby, you change your hair, you change your hair day. You gonna be like, no, oh, my bad, my bad, sorry. And you don't want you just, you just don't want that shit. You don't want it. You don't want it at all. Like for real, like you don't want somebody staring at you like that. Big, big, big issue. Ladies, and this bells too, stop being so nosy. Stop it, let it go. You know, a dude can be sit, just simple, texting, texting texting his boy. You know, he over there, yo, what up? You know, yo, yo, we hitting the hoops tonight? That's like, like, dude, like, if you, your girl, you know, she over here texting and stuff, you know, he, she in the corner, <laughs> giggling, and, and you over there, fuck she giggling about. Next you know, she goes to the bathroom and you over there, blowing the microphone looking at it, and she come rolling out. What's up, babe? And now she thinking, ah, oh, fuck, I got this, this nosy motherfucker now. But that, you know, guys do it, but it's mainly with the girls, like females, ladies, come on. Let your dude have his phone. If he puts it down, you know, maybe he, like I said, he's on the phone texting his boys. You know, you don't know. You just don't know. You don't stop assuming, you know? Cause he's gonna be like, man, I got a nosy chick, dude. Like every time I put my phone down, she's in there. Who this bitch he texting? Who this bitch he texting? Let me see who this bitch is. Hello? And then he come rolling out. Who this bitch you texting? See, girls are different from guys. Guys gonna be like, oh, I got caught. Shit, my bad. You know, you texting somebody, who the fuck you texting? Unless you actually are texting somebody, and then he's gonna get fucking pissed. But, girls would just straight up come out. Who the fuck you texting? And then you're gonna get that dumb guy answer. I mean, I mean, you know? And then ladies, like, he's gonna start locking, locking his phone on you. Like, he's gonna start putting that code. Then when you try to go in it, and then he gonna, you gonna come out, he gonna come walking out. Why are you locking your phone? Why you locking your mouth? Over here looking like a duck and shit. Why you locking your mouth? Why you locking your mouth? And you got the dumb guy answer. Uh, uh, babe, like, you know, you going through my phone. I mean, you know, you, know, you can't go through my phone. Look, everybody needs a certain amount of privacy. Like, th if you guys haven't noticed, this is the reason why people have passwords for emails. Because everybody needs a certain amount of privacy. Everybody needs a certain amount of privacy. You know, it, you just can't be over there just, I want to know everything. You got to tell me everything. You know, I want to know when you're on your period. I want to know your password to your Facebook, your Instagram, your your Snapchat, everything. No, no, you don't have to share the password. People say, oh, you give it to out of respect. Yeah, you do, but you don't have to, you know? It's good, it's good you have respect you wanted to share that with somebody. But at the same time, you don't have to. You know, you have to trust the person you're with. You have to trust the person you're with, what they're doing on their phone. You know, you got a loyal motherfucker, like, let him text. You just know that he's loyal or she's loyal. Like, it's it's healthy to actually have that that, that, that space, you know, to, to you know, yeah, you got, Married, single, sorry, not single, married in a relationship for a long time, it's okay to have that space because you don't want to feel smothered like you're having a pillow over their fucking head, like, oh, you don't want to feel like that. All right, y'all, uh, if y'all like this, you know, you know, I'll do another one, but, and uh, like, subscribe, and peace.